Hi, hello, good morning. How are you today? All right, so today is Wednesday. Okay, so this morning is, you are going to learn about the parts of the plants and its function, okay? So before that, let's do have a review and I will going to share with you my PowerPoint. All right, so there you go. Okay, so before anything else, I just want to say good morning and I hope uh, you are excited to see me here again, okay? So now this time, what we're going to do is that we will, we will going to learn about the different parts of the plants and its function. And my objective for today is for you to be able to know what are the different functions of the different parts of the plants. Okay, so welcome to Primary One, the English program. And our subject for today is science. And our topic is all about the parts of a plant and its function. Okay, so before that, let's do have a review. Okay, so the last meeting, you were able to know what are the different parts of a plant. So as you can see here, I have here the picture of a plant and let us going to um, review what or reveal what are the different parts of its plant, all right? So now I have here, the different parts of a plant. So let us give it one by one, the name of the different parts of a plant. Okay, so this is a plant. So first we have here what we call the flower. Can you please uh, see it again? Flower. Okay, next we have the leaves. Everybody say, leaves all right next we have here fruits everybody say fruits okay and then next is we have what we call the stem and then the last one is what we called the roots. Okay, now let us learn the plant parts one by one and what are the function of its parts, all right? Again, today is you are going to learn the plant parts of and its function. Okay, so what are the parts of plants and their functions? Okay, so let's start here. But before that, we all know that plants have a different parts. Same with us as a human being, like, uh, like a human being, plants also have a different parts. Okay, so these parts of the plants help them to grow, survive, and of course, to reproduce. Okay, so let's start here. So in a part, in a parts of a plant, we have a two categories. Again, the parts of a plant have a two categories. And then as you can see here, this is what we call the parts of a plant above is the soil that we can see is called the shoot of a plant. Okay, in this part, is what we call the parts of a plant above the soil that we can see. And that is what we call a shoot of a plant. On the other hand, below, this is what we call the parts of a plant below the soil that we cannot see is called the root of a plant. Again, parts of a plant below, the soil that we cannot see is called the root of a plant. So therefore, 
the parts of a plant that we can see and that is in above is what we call the shoot of a plant. And then a part of a plant below that is uh, can be found in the soil and cannot see is what we call the root of a plant. Okay, so these are the two parts of, of plants divided by uh, divided into two actually. Okay, now this time let's learn the plant parts and let us know one by one what are the different functions of a plant. Okay, so this time the functions of the plants have a different parts and have their own functions actually. They help in making and distributing and storing food. Again, the functions, we have a different functions of a plant. The last meeting, you know what are the different parts of a plant. And this time you will know the different parts of the plant and, have, and its functions. They help in making, distributing, and storing food. Okay, so now let's start with the first part of a plant, and that is the leaves. Okay, so this is a leaves. All right, so what is the main function of the leaves? The main function of leaves is to make food for the plants. Again, the main function of the leaves is to make food for the plants. So that is the first part of the plants. And then in this picture, you would see here, and this is what we call leaves. As I've said earlier, leaves collect sunlight and make food for the plant. Every plant has a different kind of leaf. Again, every plant has a different kind of leaf. And one of the example here is what we call the cilantro and the fenugreek leaves. And these leaves can be eaten, okay? These are one of the examples of the leaves that we can eat. All right, so always remember that leaves are on the end of stems. Again, always remember that leaves are on the end of st stems, okay? Now let us proceed to the next part of the plants. And we're gonna look at this one. And this is what we call the flowers. Okay, so what is the main functions of the flower? And the main functions of the flower is to reproduce. Yes, it is because flowers can reproduce a seed. Okay, so the main function of flower is to reproduce. And then the other hand, this is the flower. Okay, so when we say flower, flower are the parts of plants that make seeds and fruits. Again, flower are the parts of plants that make seeds and fruits because it reproduces. Flowers are colorful, so easily attracts the hummingbirds and bees. Okay, so as you can see, some of your flowers would be able to visit by the bees and also the hummingbirds. Yes, it is because it reproduces also a nectar. Okay, so they are one of the most colorful, colorful part of the plants. All right, so we have a different kinds of fl flower. And then one of our favorite flower are the sunflower and the rose. Okay, so always remember that flower are the colorful, colorful growth, growths on the stems. Again, flowers are the colorful growths on the stems. Okay, 
Now, we're going to look at the next part of the plants, and that is the fruits and seeds, okay? The fruits and seeds. So this is a picture of a fruit and seeds. This, what, what fruit is this? Yes, of course, it is a, an apple. So most of the fruits produce a seeds. You can find the fruit, the seeds inside the fruits. All right, so what is the main function of the fruits and seeds? The main function of fruit and seeds is to protect, okay? The main function of fruit is to protect the seed in it, inside, rather I see. Okay, so in this picture, you can see a different kinds of fruits, and this is a fruit. So therefore, fruits protect seeds. They help plants spread the seeds out because animals transport and discard seeds when they eat fruits. Again, fruit protects the seeds. They help plants spread the seeds out because the animals transport and discard seeds when they eat the fruits, okay? So always remember that, okay, so this is one of the example of our fruit. Do you like to eat fruit? Yes, of course. So these are the examples of the fruit, such as the eggplant and the strawberry. Okay, so always remember that fruit is the tasty stuff on the stem. Again, fruit is the tasty stuff on the stem, okay? Now, let's proceed to the next part of the plants and what is the function of it is. So now we are proceed to the roots, okay? So this is a root. And then as you can see, we have it here. So this is a root and then the main function of the roots. So what is the main function of the roots? The main function of the roots is to absorb the water and minerals. Again, the function of the roots is to absorb the water and the minerals. It also holds the plants firmly to the soil. Yes, of course. And roots is one of the most important parts of the plants because without roots, the plants will not exist, okay? Roots have a special job. One of the parts of the plants who have a special job. All right, so again, roots is to absorb the water and minerals. It also holds the plants firmly to the soil. All right, as you can see the picture. Okay, now, in this picture, you can see this is the part, uh, this is a root in this part of the plants, all right? So when we say roots, it absorbs the waters and the minerals from the soil and holds the plant so it does not fall over. As what I have said earlier, that roots is one of the most essential part of the plants because without roots, plants would not survive nor exist, okay? So one of the examples of the roots that we eat is the potato and the carrot, okay? So we have here. Now, always remember that roots hold the plant to the soil. Again, roots hold the plant to the soil. Okay, so we have here another. Now let's proceed to the last part of the plant and that is the stem. As you can see, there is a plant here, but there is an arrow. So this part is what we call the stem. Okay, so what is the function of the stem? The main function of the stem is to provide and support to the leaves. Again, the main function of the stem is to provide support to the leaves. 
without stem there are no leaves actually okay so in this picture you can see here and this is what we call the stem as what i have said that stem is strong and help holds the plant it allows the water and the nutrients flow up to the leaves again stem is one of the strong and it helps to hold the plant it allows the water and nutrients flow up to the leaves okay so always remember again so that stems hold the plant above the ground okay so most plants grow from a seed again most plants grow from a seed okay so this is a picture of here from seed going to a perfect plant okay there you go so most plants grow from a seed and plants need also the sunlight the soil water and air to grow without the sunlight without the soil without the water and air as well the plants will never grow so if you have a plants you have to take care of it okay so if you have a spare time you can help your mother or your father to watering your plants okay so that's all for today i hope you enjoy with our lesson about the different parts of a plants and its function now what you're going to do is that you have to answer on your workbook and that is on page i'll wait for a while and that is page 11 and 12. so you are going to answer your workbook on page 11 and 12. all right so that's all for today i hope you enjoy with our lesson this is teacher marvin so a decap and have a good day Bye-bye.